That's right, we're in a lockdown. Ooh. Oh, well, looks like instead I'll show you guys how I fit this little bad boy up. How's that sound? You. Well, here we are again, eh? Here we are again, in lockdown, baby. Can't do anything. Just, just been doing this. Sitting here and riding around the car park. How good's that? Sydney's seen its biggest lockdown yet. Uh, if you go for a ride, you get busted. Thousand bucks. Thousand bucks on the spot. Boom. I don't have a thousand bucks that I can just poof, rather buy a new lens or a motorbike part. I'll buy a new motorbike part. So it's pretty hard to moto vlog when you can't go and actually ride your bike. And so I thought, hey, I'll go back through the comments, see what you guys have written in, and um, answer some of the questions that you've been asking. One of which is. What is your mirror setup? So that's what this week's episode is all about, the mirror setup. But if you guys want to ask me any more questions, I've got time to sit here and think about things. Something I can show you. Do you want to know where this is from? Do you want to know where this jacket's from? Where my hoodie's from? Where my glasses are from? Anything. I'm actually thinking of uh, making up a video next week on uh, what's in my camera bag. What's in my camera bag for when I go motor vlogging 2021 styles. And then I can just keep on building on that each year and then show you what I sort of do every time I go and do it. How's that sound? I reckon that's pretty cool. If that's an idea. Something like that, you know? I want I want your I want your input. Help me do the thing. Sick. Alright, let's get into it. So as you know, there are many different kinds of mirrors out there, and choosing the right mirror can make or break the look of a bike or your bike and you, if you can't see shit out of them. To suit the scrambler style, I wanted a circular single-sided mirror that hung underneath the handlebars. A circular single-sided mirror. A circular single-sided mirror. That's actually pretty easy to say. But I had no idea how to do it. I couldn't find any resources on the internet. I couldn't find nice detailed photos of people doing it. And so I just went without mirrors for such a long time, like eight months, which obviously isn't ideal or, um, you know, legal. I mean, I could have left the stock street scrambler mirrors on, but have you guys, have you guys seen these things? Like, look at these things, man. Are you serious? They're enormous. I'm not into them, they were actually the very first things I took off my bike as soon as I got home from the dealership. I just got home, just popped my spanner, poof, get rid of those things. I don't care if I can't see anything, that's on me. Um, so yeah, so I just pulled them off straight away. I think they're just absolutely hideous. They're ridiculous. They're humongous. They're so big. I don't like them at all. First things to go. Disgusting. Covid. Okay, don't do that. Obviously they work really well. Over the shoulder, you're riding, you just go donk donk and you you know you can see you can see pretty much the world behind you, they're that big. And so I want to go with something just a little bit smaller. Something like this, like look at the look at the size. Like look how much look at the size difference, man. Are you serious? It's so much better. A few pros and cons before we get started. Pros starting with, uh, they're affordable, it's a minimal look, it's nice and tidy, nice and small, clears up the whole top part of your handlebars, you don't have anything sticking out, keeps the contour of the bike nice and nice and schmick. And they actually work, you can actually see out of them. Sometimes when you're putting aftermarket mirrors on, you just can't see enough out of them. Even when they're mounted in the right section, you just you can't you just can't see me. They're tiny. Like some are just ridiculously small. Like how the heck are you supposed to see anything like quickly out of it? I was actually pretty surprised when I mounted this down there. How much you could actually see? Everything's pretty visible. Um, I do only have one uh, mounted. That's just the style. That's the look I wanted. So you know you you should really be rocking two mirrors all the time. So if you do the one mirror because of me and something happens because you don't have that mirror there, you're doing this at your own risk. Okay. It's, it's, it can be sketchy, it can be a little bit sketchy. Massive head checks to the left if you just want to have the right one on. Otherwise, you know, that little, that little right boy's there. Boop! You can see, you can actually see a fair bit. But leading into the cons, the only issue I sort of find is that you do have to take your eyes, instead of just going from here, 
to there, looking at your normal standard massive mirrors, you gotta bring your eyes down past your hands. So they are moving a little bit further, which takes your eyes off the road for a little bit longer. So when you're checking for your cars, when you're checking your vision mirror, just make sure that there's no brake lights in front of you. You've got enough, your buffer zone's nice and large. Um, Cause the last thing you want is to just look down and the person in front of you slams their brakes on just as you do it. And by the time you look up, you know, you don't want that happening. So buffer zones, people, I live by buffer zones. You do that, you're gonna be sweet, eh? Uh, another con, I guess, is that they can be fiddly to get right. So this took me quite a while to, you know, get all this angle and everything right. You can adjust it from here as well to spin it and adjust, there's just like this little tiny sweet spot, especially for the street scramblers, where you can just adjust this mirror and have it so that it's not gonna hit your tank. Um, you're not just staring at your leg or your shoulder or anything like that and your thumb isn't gonna be hitting it when you're going uh, for the throttle, because sometimes your thumb can just sort of touch it a little bit. So the whole idea is to push it back as far as you can, and then you can tilt this little thing here. You can see it tilts, boop, boop. It's not massive, it's not a massive movement, but it's enough to get you in a nice spot where you can see the most behind you. And also when I have luggage on the back when I'm doing my camping trips and stuff, you're completely blocked out, hey? The bags just overhang that a little bit, and you can't see anything out of, your damn mirror. So that's another thing. I guess like you can keep your stock mirrors, chuck them on if you're gonna, you know, have a wide load. The cost of these mirrors vary. Um, I just had a quick search. I couldn't find them on Amazon, which I was spewing about. I found the ones that I have exactly, these ones here. I found these ones on the Australian eBay site. I guess if you're anywhere in the world, you can still order off the Australian eBay site, I think. It just converts and whatever. They have gone up in price though. I bought this, I bought these when they were like $35 and now they've gone up to 70. I don't know why. Maybe they're just becoming popular. They actually are pretty good. There's a very similar one that I'll link as well for the US guys or the people, the Northern Hemisphere people. It's pretty similar. It's got like a little hinge here, which I reckon could actually, you know, benefit you more. And they're pretty cheap at $33.33 US. Um, so they're both linked in the description below. Go there, check it out. If I can find my exact mirror for worldwide postage or worldwide, I'll link in the description below and I'll keep that updated. I'll keep on searching for you guys. Don't worry, I'll have you back. So yeah, so they're ranging from $33 US to like $75 or $80 Australian, which is pretty close anyway, I think. And for the quality of them, I've been using this for about maybe like a year and a half now. You can see some, you know, there's some little scuffing there, like little rust marks, but I know that's all, it's all metal. It's not plastic. It's actually lasting pretty well. The paint's really nice still on it. For this for about a year and a half, driven through some bloody stuff. Woo! Let me tell you. Uh, there's a bit of mud still all in there, on the grooves and everything. Yeah, so you can, like I said, you can adjust it from here. You have different adjustments there as well, one there. Uh, and then obviously you got this little mount thing which comes in the kit. Uh, even these bolts come in the kit as well, which should fit your your mirror hole. But otherwise, yeah, quality quality's all good. And I've dropped it a couple of times and everything's just held up nicely. It's still nice and solid. It's not sliding around any, anywhere. There's no rattles or anything, which is nice. Um, it's just a good good quality mirror for, a, for an eBay mirror, you know? So stoked. Fitting instructions. So this was, this was one I stumbled across. So when I was looking for a spot on my bike to mount my Kellerman indicators a while ago, you guys might remember when me and Johnny were making up brackets and stuff, mounting my indicators, doing my tail tidy and everything. We just needed a spot that wasn't gonna be sticking out. These tiny little indicators, man, the whole idea of them is to hide them really nicely. And so we were just looking around the bike, looking around, and then I had a light bulb moment, boom. So my, at the time, my mirrors were off the bike, the stock mirrors, so I had that, you have that little clamp that holds your brake and your clutch levers, it has the arrow pointing up. Well, those weren't being used, and they were for the stock mirrors. So I, I defied the arrow and flicked it upside down and um, had him pointing down. He made a little bracket up, boom. Now the mountain underneath looks sweet. And so then I thought when I bought these mirrors, I was like, man, I wonder if they can just fit in there. So I went out on a whim, bought these mirrors and um, you know, fiddled around a little bit and they actually fit under there and everything's all sweet. I've not had any issues with the arrow pointing down. In saying that, I'm not sure if there's a legitimate reason why there is an arrow pointing up, telling you to mount it up. Other than the fact that there is the you know thread there for your mirrors so that you don't get that mixed up. I don't know. Um, but I've had no issues with it pointing down apart from the fact it says up. <laughs> but then, yeah, and then this just goes vunk straight underneath. So easy to mount, just a six mil Allen head. Boom there, get your, you know, I don't know, your four mil into that, boom. And um, you just mount that thing up there, man. 
and you're pretty sweet. Comes with bolts, comes with little adapters and stuff, so you can sort of try to mix and match and try to get your fitting nice and right. But that's it. That's all I did. It was that easy. And I have never had an issue. I've dropped it, like I said, a couple of times and nothing's come loose, nothing's rattling. Brake and clutch work fine, nothing's moving around. Um, yeah, that's it. Holy crap, hey? And everyone comments on my photos, man, going, what the heck? How did you mount your mirror like this? It looks so sick. That's it. That's all there is. It's so easy, hey? That's all it is. Have fun. Have fun. <laughs> Have fun on your bikes while I'm stuck in my room here. Um, yeah. It's just that. Loosen it all up, have it all loose, jiggle it all in. Oh! Maybe just put a rag on your tank so you don't bump your tank. And put them on both sides. Don't do what I'm doing. Okay? You've heard it, you've heard it here first. Just saying. Okay, well, I don't know. I don't know what I'll do now. Can't ride anyway. I don't know. Oh, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you liked that video. If you did, please hit the like, hit subscribe. See you guys next week when I... I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Next week, hold me to it. I'm gonna do what's in my camera bag, 2021, for when I go for motor vlogs and stuff. I've, com I've compacted it right down, it's actually pretty sick. It's pretty sick. Uh, okay, guys. See ya.